What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today we're going to talk about my favorite way to clean algae off of the glass in your aquarium. So what I used to use to clean the glass off of my aquarium or the algae off the glass in my aquarium was this little like razor blade handle thing from Top Fin. I know a lot of people just take a razor blade with their fingers and go in, especially on like a 10 gallon tank. The problem that I had with this is it's kind of flexible. It's at a weird like bend. So you got to like reach in and you need to put pressure a certain way. And it never like it only ever cleaned like a corner of it. It didn't actually clean like the whole blade length. And it was just kind of annoying. The other thing is it didn't work very well down at the sand or the gravel and it couldn't really get like down in there and it didn't work very well along the silicone because you can't run it over the silicone because you'll scrape your silicone out and cause your tank to leak. I actually did this a couple weeks ago, uh, not to the point where my tank was leaking, but I was cleaning on my 75 and over here in the corner I actually nicked the silicone just enough that it, it was noticeable, but it scared the crap out of me. I was like, nope, not doing this anymore. I need to find a different way to clean the algae. Um, I've had those mag scrapers and stuff like that before. The thing I hate about those is again, they don't clean very well around the algae and they clean even worse down at the bottom than this thing does. And so it almost looks like you kind of did a window and along the edges, there's still, you know, all that algae. And I don't mind it per se on like the back or the sides of the aquarium, but the front, I like to kind of keep as clear as I can. I did a little research and found out that people like to use Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Now, the one problem with those is they're expensive. A four pack of them is like four or five bucks at Walmart. And you know, you're not gonna go through them a ton, but I just, it's expensive. So I was able to pick up an entire huge thing, a hundred of these. They're a little bit smaller than Mr. Clean to be fair. Um, these are probably half the thickness of it. So maybe like 50 Magic Clean erasers for $5 on Amazon. Um, granted, it took like two weeks to get here. I ordered them on the 9th and I got them on the 23rd of March. And so not a huge deal, right? Um, and I'm probably never gonna use all of them, but I use these around my house as well. Um, all it is is bricks of melophene, I think is how you say it, foam. So that's all it is. There's no additives or anything, even the Mr. Clean ones. All it is is just bricks of foam and uh, they work great. It actually takes off algae better than anything else I've used. You barely even have to push down on it. You just rub it right along the glass of the tank and it just takes everything right off. You can run it down the silicone. You can run it up around the edges. You can use them on the outside of the tanks. You can use them around your house. It's great. I love them. They're cheap. They're easy to store. Um, they're not like super expensive. If you run out, you could run to Walmart while you order more, whatever. It's just great. The specific ones that I ordered used to be, I want to say like $5 and 40 cents. And then they primed them to me, um, even though it took longer than what it was. I didn't have to pay shipping. Um, now when I went and looked, they're 99 cents for all 100 of them, but they charge you like $3 shipping. So it only comes out to like four and a half dollars, which is cheaper than what I paid for it. But you know, it's one of those. You're still paying them about the same amount of money, just where is it going? Uh, or, or, you know, what are they claiming it as? Whatever it means. But yeah, the one downside to using the foam is now you have to actually put your hand in the tank. That's what's the nice thing about the mag floats is you don't have to put your hand in the tank. You can just kind of like scrape it and get most of it off. Uh, for midweek, that's kind of the best way to do it. But I find that I clean my tanks weekly and uh, the algae doesn't build up too bad as long as I clean it every week and I just drop my hand in there anyways, I'm gravel vacuuming. It's not too much more work to just clean off the front glass. The other nice thing is it works in my 10 gallon tanks just a little bit better. Um, it's not this big like thing that I'm trying to rub in there and it's not a little tiny like uh, razor blade that I'm sitting there trying to hold and not you know lose grip on or whatever. Um, it's an actual block of foam and it's just easy to grab, easy to use. Um, they're great. So, yep. That's kind of my tip for today is uh, these little foam pieces. They're great, they're soft, no additives, like I said, um, just blocks of foam that work really well to clean things. Um, and they're cheap, super, super, like a hundred of these. You get a hundred of these for $5, not even $5, like $4 and change. So 
definitely recommend them. There will be links down in the description below. They're Amazon affiliate links, so it helps out the channel when you order, but it doesn't cost you anything, just an FYI. So hopefully you found some of the stuff in the video useful. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Um, do you use these already in your tank? Do you use Mr. Cleans? Do you, you know, what do you use to clean the glass? I'm really curious about. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.